Hello friends, welcome to the Cloudbig YouTube channel. My name is Manoj and today we will learn how to install Exchange Server 2019. So in the last videos we have done all the prerequisites and the requirements for the Exchange Server 2019 installation. So this is the guide here. We have installed Active Directory Domain Services DNS Server and created a new domain for us in the previous videos. We have already joined the server to the domain. We have already installed the prerequisites. Now we will need to install the Exchange Server 2019. So first you need to download the Exchange Server 2019 setup file. So if you do not have downloaded, download it. So in Google search, download Exchange Server 2019. So this is the Microsoft website. From here you can download the Exchange Server 2019. You can select your language from here and download Exchange Server 2019. Or you can use this link. It provides with product key. So from here you can also download Exchange Server 2019. So we need the ISO image, so we will download it. It will take time in downloading the exchange server file as it is approximate 6 GB. Same thing you can download from here. Simply click on the download button. It will start downloading the ISO image. So you can download from any of these sites. So from the Microsoft website you will always get updated version of the Exchange Server 2019. You can see that the downloading has been completed. Now we need to mount the ISO file. So it is our file. So mount this. So once we have mounted this you can see it is here in the E drive. Okay, now let's uh, proceed for the further steps. So first we need to prepare Active Directory Schema. So we need to run Windows PowerShell. Okay, now copy this command and paste in the notepad. So our drive is E drive. So change the location. Copy this command and run in the PowerShell. So it will take some time in completing the process. Wait for a few minutes. Let the process be completed. Second command that we need to use is preparing Active Directory. So we will copy this command. Paste here. Change the location of the drive. And in the organization name, you need to put your organization name. So we have used this so we are not changing this in the last you need to prepare active directory domain so for this copy this command here also you need to change your location and in the domain name you need to use your domain name that you have used when creating a forest now let's check if the process has been completed in the powershell or not so it is analyzing and now you can see it is extended active directory schema so you need to wait for the completion of this step after the completion we need to prepare active directory for this we have written the command here and the third step is to prepare active directory domain we have prepared both the command here by by changing the drive location and changing the organization name and here domain name. As you can see exchange server setup operation completed successfully. Now we need to prepare active directory. So copy this command. Paste here and enter. So now we are getting error like a report from previous installation is pending. 
so first we need to reboot our pc so after restarting the system you need to again open powershell again mount the iso file copy this command paste here now you can see the organization preparation is completed now we need to run the last command so paste command here and press enter now you can see here the domain prepare progress is completed and the setup operation completed successfully now we will open our blog so we have prepared active directory schema prepared active directory and prepared active directory domain so now we need to install exchange server 2019 so we need to open the setup open the location and this is the setup file right click here and run as administrator we will skip the updates right now and click on the next button so the setup has been started just simply click on the next button accept the license agreement and click on the next button in the recommended settings use recommended settings and click on the next button and in the exchange server role click on mailbox role and also click on the automatically install windows server role click on the next button this is the location for the exchange server you can change the path if needed otherwise leave it as it is and click on the next button so just for now disable malware scanning we can enable it later so click on the next button now it will verify all the prerequisites this is the warning and this is also the warning we can neglect these warnings if there is error then we need to resolve that so now click on the install button as you can see the step 2 of 13 is running and it will complete it in 13 steps it will take time in installing the exchange server 2019 completely as you can see the setup has been completed actually i have skipped the setup progress part as it took around one hour to complete the setup so now you can click on finish the installation because exchange server 2019 has been installed successfully so click on the finish button now we can check if the exchange server has been installed successfully or not so to verify the installation of the exchange server 2019 we need to run this command get exchange server so open windows powershell and first we need to install exchange powershell commandlet so copy this command i will share in the description also paste here and run once you have executed this command copy this command and paste here as you can see the pc name is here the site is this server role is mailbox addition is standard and the version is 15.2 so you can see we have successfully installed the exchange server 2019 so in the next part of the video we will see how to create users provide roles and uh, other things 
Thank you guys for watching the complete video. If you have any queries regarding this, you can ask us in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Also follow us on other social media platform. Social media links are in the description.